thank you for joining me. Uh, to start off, Deutz is a leader in combustion engine technology. It, I know that there is a lot of talk about electrification and hydrogen. Well, what do you see as the opportunities ahead for combustion engine technology? How it, what role is it going to play in the future? And particularly in the face of the global carbon neutrality initiatives that are ongoing right now? Well, that's a good question. And that's a question we're obviously dealing with every day, because as you said today, I mean, we've been around for almost 160 years in the combustion engine area. And, uh, we, you know, we, we ensured that the world keeps moving in the, la in the past, and it's our ambition to do that also in the future. And obviously with all uh, necessity, I wouldn't always only say trend, but with the necessity for decarbonization, we know that in the very far future that will not work only with a combustion engine, but we also know in the industries we serve, the combustion engine will play a major role also for years to come and probably 10, 15, 20 years. So we need to be on, we need to be, we need to be around on both sides on continuing to providing the most efficient, best, cleanest combustion engine technology, but on the same way also uh, preparing ourselves, preparing our customers, preparing the, our industry uh, for electrification and other alternative technologies. So what products do you have here at ConExpo that are, can help play a role in that? Well, we, we, on here at ConExpo, we are uh, we're showing products in both segments. In our, in our classic segment, uh, we are showing here, for example, our most recent product, uh, a 5.2 uh, combu combustion engine, a very, very clean and efficient product. But on the other hand, we're also showing here our most recent uh, innovation. It's a hydrogen combustion engine, 7.8 liter. It's a product we're very proud of. Um, we, we developed it over the last years and it's now ready for the market. And um, that's a fantastic product because uh, when, uh, if we, when, you, when you run a combustion engine with hydrogen, in the end it's CO2 free and it fits perfectly in the uh, applications and the end products of our customers. We also show here electric, uh, uh, battery electric products. We show a tailor handler, a JLG tailor handler, which we put with our, with our um, e uh system. So yeah, we are playing here on different, on different areas. Recently you announced an agreement with a Daimler yes. um, for in engine development and uh, production. Can you talk a little bit of more about that um, and how that plays into your overall strategy? What types of technologies mm -hmm. it's allowing Deutz to develop and, and take advantage of? Yeah, um, that's uh, also a development we are very proud of. So a couple of weeks ago, we signed an agreement with Daimler Truck and the uh, core of this agreement is um, that we are taking over um, their medium duty engine platform. Um, uh, that's, a pla that's an engine which today Daimler uses in their medium size uh, trucks, but which they also, uh, which they also distribute to off highway customers. Um, we are also uh, uh, acquiring license right to use their heavy duty engine platform for the off highway market. And uh, whereas Daimler here, have been looking for a partner who brings these fantastic engines into the future. Um, uh, well, we agreed that we are going to be the partner. And um, is this a trend we will see in the, in the near future? That on the one hand, obviously, we know that the combustion engine is relevant for the future. But we also know that there is a trend uh, to replace at least the lower power ranges by electrification. So there will be a consolidation trend. And uh, we want to become and we want to establish ourselves as an active player in this consolidation game. And that is the first proof point we showed here with Daimler. And last point on that, obviously Deutz and Daimler, we are both very traditional German companies, uh, Daimler being the bigger one, that's clear. But when our, our company founder, Nicolas August Otto in 1864, uh, founded Deutz, one of his first employees, the engineers, uh, the engineers was Gottlieb Daimler. And then they departed. And now at least we're bringing on a small scale things back together. That's excellent. So let's circle back to the hydrogen yeah. aspect. Can you talk a little bit about the path that Deutz has taken to uh, to develop the hydrogen technology that you're displaying here? Uh, and, um, and specifically what your intentions are for the hydrogen combustion engine then mm. that is under development? Yeah, I mean, as I said, we just, um, the first product we brought into the market is a 7.8 liter. Uh, engine that's a product which has a range which has a power of two, 200 to 260 uh, kilowatts 
So it is, uh, it is a product which we're currently putting in use uh, in stationary power generation. That's the first area of application. Uh, why is that? Because that's a stable environment where the uh, provision of hydrogen and the fuel and the tank and uh, the storage of hydrogen is, is not a challenge yet. Um, so that's important that we have this field where we can actually collect data, where we can uh, uh, make the product more reliable. But it's the next step. We want to bring it also in mobile equipment. For example, um, a train uh, is, a, is a very suitable uh, area of application. And then consequently then moving it further also into, uh, into let's say, mobile equipment in unstable environment. The advantage of that uh, hydrogen combustion engine, that is, as the name suggests, it is a combustion engine. So 80-85% um, of the parts are the same like in a, in a traditional diesel combustion engine. And it runs uh, via almost the same uh, factory production line. We have a lot of uh, synergies with the existing products and not only we, but also our customers. Our customers don't need to redesign um, their end products totally. Um, they need to adapt, that's clear. Uh, but with its long investment cycles, particularly in the heavy duty equipment, we believe that is um, a really uh, a, a, an easier way to adapt um, the existing uh, equipment towards alternative technologies. And in the end, that's what we all want. I mean, we want to change the world in a positive way to make it, uh, to, to contribute, to make it uh, CO2 free. But we also know that we cannot just uh, change it in one go and making everything new. So we, it's a journey, right? It's a journey and not a switch on, switch off in one day. And is there still the intent to introduce the production model of hydrogen combustion engine in 2024? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we are, uh, at the moment, it's uh, pre-series, it's prototypes pre-series, um, but we are already in uh, very specific discussions with first customers. We are we recently uh, signed a letter of attempt to sell the first 100 uh, products. Um, cannot announce too much more on that, but um, uh, the production lines are, are ready. And uh, as soon as we have the remaining parts qualified in 2024, we'll start with the zero production year. Excellent. What about eDoids? Can you tell me a bit about eDoids and how that plays into your overall sustainability uh, process? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, eDoids, both the low voltage and the high voltage systems we produced, um, here we understand ourselves as a system integrator, as a, as a, as a provider of uh, integrated system. Um, including the engine, including the battery, including the battery management. And um, obviously for our customer ranges, for our customer groups, it plays a major role in the power ranges, let's say below 100 kilowatts. Um, that's where electric, uh, uh, electric products are fantastically um, suited. Uh, those obviously because they're CO2 free, they are silent, um, so they fulfill everything what's needed. Uh, here we also see opportunities beyond um, beyond the drivetrain uh, because we introduced the product it's called the Power Tree. It's a mobile charging uh, solution because in the end, you know, often where our, where our where the products of our customers are in service, like on a construction site, that is typically where there is no Tesla power charger nearby, right? And you need to somehow be able to charge uh, the product so that they can run the full day. And that's, uh, uh, that's also a challenge uh, of our customers, which we want to uh, meet. So here we're thinking in product ecosystems. Um, and uh, yes, it's not only the engine and the battery, but it's going beyond that. And we have very, very many product and productive, constructive, uh, exciting discussions with our customers. But obviously, uh, yeah, this takes a bit of time, you know, uh, and it has a different speed in different regions of the world. Right. It, so it sounds like you're really trying to deliver the entire value chain and, and a lot of options to your customers to help them to be successful. No, yeah, absolutely. And we need to do that because, um, I mean, this is one of the biggest transformation our industry has ever faced, right? And um, so it was a stable environment over the last decades. We all needed to develop new engines, cleaner more silent engines uh, every five to eight years, depending on the emission uh, uh, emission legisl legislation. And suddenly everything changes. And that's where we, but also our customers still at the beginning lacked experience and there's lots of uncertainty. So we understand perfectly that obviously there is on our customer side or the customers of our customers, there's a concern when you go all electric, is there enough uh, you know, electricity infrastructure around? No one wants to would be in the position that you have the equipment, you can't run it because there is no, no fuel or no electricity. So that's why 
um, we need to provide the entire solutions because we understand uh, us as, uh, as a company with a mission to accompany our customers on their path to climate neutrality. That's what we're there for. And as we see, show we everywhere, our statement, our ambition is to ensure the world keeps moving. And that should be in the future also the case. And uh, with electric energy or with hydrogen, it doesn't matter as long as it's clean and helps protecting the environment. Excellent. Well, Sebastian, this has been a great conversation. Is there anything else you'd like to share about what Deutsch is doing either at ConExpo or going forward? I mean, we talked about pretty much everything, but I just want to make very clear statement that our customers can rely on us, that we're going to be around over the next 160 years, hopefully, although uh, none of us will probably uh, experience that personally. And um, the way we want to do that is uh, in this transition and this transformational period with the traditional, with a classic combustion engine technology, we have, we give the commitment, we're going to be around but we also give the commitment we accompany you, our customers, on their way uh, with a technology open approach. And I mean, that's all we can ask for the, uh, the trust of our customers, but we're going to be there for them. Thank you so much, Sebastian. Thank you very much, Becky. It was a pleasure.